and the same again for the up north combine who uh, just happened to be in Grantham but I should get a quite a good um, view of them uh, on their liberation so that'll be coming up after uh, a quick update on the loft situation uh, at home so I put the video out yesterday of these birds flying and a couple of you noticed that one of the birds was trying to be sick um, now I'm a complete novice I've never done this before so I don't even know what a pigeon looks like when it's trying to be sick um, but apparently that's it so that's good I've got that on footage <laughs> I've got some footage of it so now hopefully that'll be useful to everyone else I'll show you that now um, this is what they look like when they're trying to be sick apparently so um, it's not something I'd noticed. I was too busy looking at the other one that was panting. I've just taken all the drinkers and um, feeders and grit um, bowls out of the loft and I'm going to give them a good clean with Vircon today, uh, give them a good scrub. The thing is we know with diseases that if one's got, I don't have a separate loft, there's two sections but there's airflow through them and, uh, and the birds mix so if one of them's got it, they all will end up getting ill. Um, they all look okay at the moment. You know, the droppings, from as far as I can tell, are all normal. Um, there's feathers and droppings on there. There's none that look particularly runny. There are n none of the birds are in the corner that I can see. So I'll keep an eye on it. To be honest, I'm not 100% sure what I'm looking for. I know usually they say you're looking for corn, wet corn that's been vomited back up, but there's none in the feeders and there's none that I can see. There's just lots of um, healthy looking droppings as far as I can tell and feathers. Um, there's enough room in this loft for 44 birds. We've got 39, so we're not overcrowded. Um, and you know, the, the V purchase is scraped down every few days. Yeah, they all look uh, they all look okay at the moment, as far as I can tell. I think they're all I think they're a bit hungry today because of obviously a, a lot of them flew for over an hour yesterday, and uh, they didn't get much to eat because they didn't come straight in. So I'm hoping today I'll let them out in a bit. Hopefully they'll trap a little bit better. How are you feeling? Have you got young bird sickness? So we've got uh, everything cleaned now. Some fresh grit. Clean this one out. This is a new pot. We've got the drinker all clean and ready to go uh, and the feeders they're clean um, I'll give those a deep clean and use them at some other point and obviously I'm not going to use the feeders right now until I feed them later on so and the, the good flyers are out they're enjoying it Then we've got the rest on the loft and I'm, I'm not bothered about pushing them today because they're young and there's no sun um, out today so if they want to hang around on the loft today that's fine but these are these are enjoying themselves anyway I'm just gonna keep my eye out for any of them trying to be sick so we've got those that are up flying at the moment obviously happy and healthy mush mush is in there mush mush is an older bird so He's the oldest actually, a name like Mush Mush, it's uh, Jasper came up with that, five year old and I'm the one that has to say it on camera which is a little, little bit embarrassing. Well that's annoying, um, I didn't press record, I clicked a photo instead. Um, I've literally just called them all in and they all got in within 10 seconds of each other so, uh, well maybe 30 seconds, but they're all in for their feed. I'm still missing a few. I thought we got them all in but we haven't, we're missing Ryan not Brian. Um, but they're nowhere to be seen. Oh, there they are, look, up there. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All of them there. Is that right? Nine? The one that was flying around that didn't want to land has just joined up with them. Yeah, so that's it. They've been off for a good fly. Brilliant. Oh, relief. Well, this bunch here have been flying for 45 minutes. So far blazing sunshine now they did disappear they were completely out of sight so exactly what we wanted 
other than one of them that was still looping around the loft. how long it takes. Once they see me go in, hopefully they'll go in. You guys have got to let me pass without sneaking in. Come on then. Oh, that's better, isn't it? Give you a bit extra. There you go. can't quite see it but the up north combine a couple of fields over that way and the showground is locked at the gate it doesn't open till nine o'clock so I'm gonna to have to do some fence hopping. Good morning everybody a few things have happened for this weekend it looks like the weather's not going to be great today although it's beautiful now uh, it's forecast to be really quite cloudy uh, and wet later on uh, with a lot of bad weather at the south in the south of the country so quite a few of the south road clubs have decided to pull their race points uh, the liberation sites up country, not South Road Fed, my, uh, my federation. They were due to be racing from the south coast today, but they've changed that. Uh, they've moved to Upper Hayford, um, so it's a shorter race. And the, the same again for the Up North Combine, who uh, just happened to be in Grantham. But I haven't been to Grantham before, and I didn't realise that you can't get in uh, this early in the morning. So um, I've had to hop over a hedge. Uh, so I'm a bit of a distance away, but I should get a quite a good um, view of them uh, on their liberation. So uh, that should look quite good. So this is the uh, liberation site. Unfortunately, there's a big ditch between me and the uh, up north combine, which is just behind that hedge there. So I should be able to get a pretty good shot of them. From here, I can zoom right in. Obviously, you'll see this on the camera. Looks like there's a few empty crates on that lorry. And off they go. If 
you haven't subscribed yet then it'd be great if you could click the subscribe button and uh, the little bell next to it you'll get notifications next time i uh, upload a video thanks